Good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. So the first thing we're going to look at are these manufacturing um, data releases from Japan and then the CPI and PPI data from China. So both data sets came out much, much lower than expected. You can see that the factory orders from Japan forecast 3.7, actual minus 3.6. And the forecast here for the machinery orders year on year was forecast to come at 10.5. It's actually coming at 2.8. And uh, you can see the mess that we've had here for, um, for PPI there in China as well. Forecast minus 5.5 is coming at minus 5.9. So, all in all, um, that is obviously a little bit negative in that part of the world. Most global equity markets have come off again. Um, the new the data was is bad, but it's not that bad in regards to uh, potential stimulus in China. People are still expecting that, um, but most global equity markets have actually come off a fair amount since then. So, looking at this candle formation right here, we managed to spike above that 21 period SMA only for it to reverse strongly towards the end of the session and actually end up much, much further down. A very ugly candle to have. Also looks like you've got the tip of this candle here around about 16.705 being potential resistance. Uh, we've had a, a, a small opportunity there to, to rally up higher this morning, but it doesn't look that strong. Uh, other technicals are relatively neutral. Obviously, we had the crossover in the MACD there yesterday, um, but it looks like it's completely petered out. And certainly lo looking at this candle from, from yesterday, that's going to add uh, short-term pressure as well. So then looking at the UK 100, similar picture, uh, was much higher, failed to break through potential resistance 62.96. Um, that is a graveyard doji formation. Now usually it's a strong reversal signal at top of an uptrend. Uh, we're now in the middle of two ranges, but uh, 60.73 is the next potential support on there. And we don't actually have a whole host. Oh, we did, uh, today's Thursday actually, so we've got our um, Unemployment claims, uh, data from the US, we've got our crude oil inventories. There's actually a few bits and pieces today um, to look at, including if you're a cable trader, we've got the Bank of England NPC minutes. Uh, that should be quite interesting, and obviously our interest rate announcement as well. So we'll come back to the cable in a second. So in the back of that disappointing data from uh, from Japan as well, you can see we've had a little bit of a reversal there yesterday, still managed to go in positive, to positive territory. We have been lower in Japan, 225, but it's, uh, it's trying to move on that little bit higher. Dolly are in about 120 spot 70. Um, we're at 18,306 as potential resistance. We're not above there currently, uh, but very, very close. So, moving on to dollar yen, uh, you can see that that 21 period SMA is acting as potential resistance, quite close to 121.87. Uh, the two tips of these candles here are indicative of selling pressure the closer that we get to that level. Uh, we do have a bullish crossover in the MACD, but it's not really resulting in any significant moves for uh, dollar yen right now. So looking at West Texas crude, it's continuing to, uh, to, to, to sell off, just going into negative territory right now. Almost a bearish engulfing pattern. Mark that is a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Uh, 4585 looking like it's a re relatively staunch potential resistance that's failed to break through there the last couple of days. Uh, I guess you would say we're in the middle of two ranges, but uh, $42 is the next potential support. We are seeing a flattening of the MACD histogram, almost a, cross a negative crossover on the MACD again. The other technical are relatively neutral. Um, but remember, you do have crude oil inventories today around about 4 p.m. UK time. So make sure if you're trading crude oil that you don't forget about that. Uh, so as you can see there, I've got my alert already set on there. So moving on to gold, gold's come off as well. Um, breaking through uh, this, I'm gonna redraw this actually, because that's probably more likely where we are, because that, that was an, an historical um, symmetrical triangle formation, which is, has been long broken. So if we have a look at that, could be another sloping um, support level on the way up. Uh, it's probably more likely that it's going to break that again. I kind of thought this might be an actual head and shoulders formation, potentially. If we just get another line, uh, draw these levels on here. So that would be a shoulder, that would be the neck, that would be the other shoulder, that's, a, that's the, um, the neckline break. And normally you take the distance from the top of the neck to the base of uh, the neckline and then you add that to uh, the breakout there. So if you were to take the classical measuring aspects, you probably could say that uh, from a technical analysis perspective anyway, um, that you might be targeting the tips of these candles down here. So I would certainly say that um, you have a potential support level at around about uh, 10.73. We're a good bit away from there right now, but I'm gonna leave all those lines on there for now. In fact, I'm going to get rid of some of these other historical old support and resistance levels because a lot of these now are pretty old. Uh, I'm just not that applicable to where we are today. 
Uh, so we'll come back to that at some other point. So this is currently where, where we're sitting with gold. Uh, and uh, we didn't really get our massive momentum on that golden cross either. But it looks like it's about to switch back over anyway. Uh, and that's currently where we are for precious metal. So having a look there at Euro dollar, slowly grinding high last five sessions. This candle's kind of interesting, almost like a little hammer formation, trying to push on higher. Also, in the 21 period SMA, one spot 11 remains to be the potential support level. Uh, Euro dollar's not doing a huge amount right now. But then having a look at GBP USD, you can see we had a failure to break 154.24. Uh, we did that on Tuesday, failed to break it on Tuesday, failed to break it again yesterday. We're drifting lower again this morning. We don't have a bullish crossover on the MACD. We do almost have a, a buying signal on the slow stochastic, but it's not come up as of yet. And looking at the interday charts, cable is under pressure. And remember, you do have those MPC minutes today. Uh, that could have a decent impact on cable, as in where does Kearney think interest rates are going? Some traders thought it would be the start of next year January February next year but we'll have a bit more of an idea you'll also see the voting rights as well in that regard so as everybody guys keep your eye on the chart for make insights part of the late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next